We're not undefeated. So I shaved. Look, look how fat I look. Look. Oh my god, what happened to my neck? Look how many chins I have. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't do that thing with the thing. Stay right there. Uh, huh. uh, oh no. Come on, man. Oh, it's upside down, that's why. There's actually a little seam right here. Can I put a, mag a magnet up to the camera? Will it break it? See that little seam right there? That's where the the magnet is. Hey, look at my lovely nails. It's like I had a manicure. Anyway. There we go. Oh no, that's so awful. Why didn't I do this while it wasn't taping? Why do I say taping when really it's just writing to disc? Because what else are you going to call it? Can you even hear me when my back's to you? There we go. Oh, you know what? It's not 55. If it were Saturday, it would be 55. Let's see. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, one more thing. There are, in fact, 53 days until the opening night of the NBA regular season at the Target Center as the Timberwolves take on the... Uh, what are they taking on? I don't have a schedule yet. Anyway, what the heck? I turned on... <clears throat> Excuse me. That can't be right. Um, all right, I will stop this one, and then I will start a new one, because I'm just too confused right now. Come on. Sorry, I had a crisis. I, I'm still not quite sure if I'll be able to get this done without having to reboot the laptop. How long has this laptop been uh, gone without being, being rebooted? My last logon was August 14th at 5.24 p.m. August 14th. Wow, so it's been 27, 28 days? 20, 14th? 31, about 26 days. No one cares. I know. Uh, as for right now, it's 5.04 p.m. and 83 degrees. When I had that beard, I think it was a lot easier to convince people I was thinner than I was because some of these chins would disappear. Ah, we're all older now. You know who's older now? It's Flea. It's Flea's birthday today. Happy birthday, Flea. Can you believe it? That dude is always older than I am, no matter what. I keep trying to catch up, but I can't. He's always older. So think about that. Uh, he called, and we had a chat, which is why it's a little later than we would have expected. Although 5.05, pretty early for me. But, <clears throat> excuse me, a little fizzy. I was in at 8.30. Tomorrow I have to be in at 7.30. Wednesday I have to be in at 7.30. So I'm trying to acclimate myself by coming in early today. Will it help? Probably not. What will happen is I'll go home. I will involuntarily sleep for about an hour, and that will keep me up until 4 or 5 a.m. So I should be a real treat tomorrow. All the stuff I was going to talk about has flown out of my head during that time when I was trying to get uh, the computer working again without rebooting. I should have just rebooted. It would have been quicker. It's like a shaved funny, too, doesn't it? I got the red neck going. Or right here. Hmm... You'd think I'd know how to shave by now. I am old enough. Hey, look what I got in the P.O. Box today. It's my deluxe edition of The Orb, featuring Lee Scratch Perry, presenting the, the Orbserver in the Star House, with all these limited edition goodies in it. 
Of course, I haven't looked at any of them because I'm afraid to open the box here at work. It's number 128 out of 1,000, I think. 128, that's power of two. I'm sure Alex picked that number out, especially for me. Thanks, Dr. Alex Patterson. I already listened to my digital copy, so... Although I do want to see the... It comes with uh, 345s that are, I think, different colors. And then there's some art prints. <laughs> Priceless art, painted and signed by Alex Patterson. Wow. What happened was he, he drew some really... Well, he, didn't, he painted. There's a time-lapse uh, video out uh, somewhere on YouTube, I think. Or Vimeo. I don't know. Alex painted some very large pieces of uh, art, and then they were cut up into a thousand pieces, and then a piece was put in every box set. So someday, when all of us put our pieces back together, we will recreate the art. It'll never happen. But uh, it's got his uh, autograph on there, too, so that's pretty neat. So this came out last week in the UK, and I guess it made it into the P.O. box on Saturday, except I didn't check on Saturday. I checked this morning. Oh my god, even I am boring myself right now. Did you watch that NASCAR race? I know it's not right to be laughing at other people's misfortune, but ha 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 Kyle Busch, you cry so much. And you blew it. You blew it, friend. Jeff Gordon. I don't even like Jeff Gordon. I like him more than Kyle Busch, though. So Jeff Gordon's in the chase now. And he has to bring back the mustache because he said if somehow he made the chase... He would rock the stash. So that's going to look really neat. And his supermodel wife is going to hate it. And his young daughter is going to hate it. And everyone's going to hate it. But I'm going to love it because he's going to rock that stash. The Jeff Gordon, just like, there you go, right there. Yeah. I shaved because the Packers lost. Worst week ever. I mean, it was nice to have a race go that late, but then you got to get up and watch football, and you got to see the Vikings win after a classic, classic Vikings lead blow where they blew the lead. But they have this awesome kicker now. I know why they why they drafted this dude and, and cut Ryan Longwell because he put some foot in it, man. He got that 55-yarder, take it to overtime. For the first time ever, the new overtime rules were in effect. So even though the Vikings got another field goal, they still could have lost, but, alas, it was not to be. There was no last-minute touchdown in overtime for it to be the highest-scoring overtime in the history of ever. Well, in the NFL. Those college overtimes, they can go on forever. I know, because I watched the Gophers go three overtimes. Gophers are undefeated, by the way. It's a good weekend if you're really into Minnesota sports. The Vikings won. Gophers won, the Lynx won, the Twins won, the Packers lost. Uh, I believe Wisconsin lost. That was controversial. I, I don't know. I'm not really into the college sports, although I will follow the Gophers until they're under, no longer undefeated. Probably very soon. But now that I've shaved, I don't know. Do I let it grow again? Do I keep shaving? The only good thing to come out of having to shave this early in the NFL season is... Not my limitless options, but the fact that I can make sure that I have uh, it time. So by the time November comes around, a little over a month, well, almost two months because it's November, duh, and it's only September 10th right now, I can work on growing a mustache for November and raising zero dollars as I normally do. There's so much that I wanted to say. I'm sure of it. I'll remember it immediately after I hit stop. But I'm about 30 seconds away from hitting stop as it is. So, uh, Monday Night Football, doubleheader tonight. I will probably skip the first game and catch the second game after Raw if I'm awake. 50-50 shot. But if uh, you want to sit, catch me on Twitter tonight, I'll be doing the usual deal. Uh, God knows why. But it's a go-home show, so... I'm going to go home. Thanks for watching, and I will see you uh, tomorrow, hopefully, right around 3.30, where I'll be like, good night.